My name is Sergey Klimov. I work for Snowball Studios. We're one of the co-producers behind the new war game Achtung Panzer. Achtung Panzer is a war game unlike any other war game before that was made about tank battles. It's both tactical and strategic. It's very accurate historically and it gives to the war game audience something in terms of features that they've been waiting for a long time to get. One of the questions we get asked quite often about this game is that the maps are so huge and it takes me a lot of time to get to the Germans before the fight begins. But the thing is, this is really a part of the actual gameplay. You have to plan, you have to think ahead, and if you decide to make ambush in a particular spot and you bring your troops there, it's not the sort of arcade mode where you can quickly relocate, but you have to bear the consequences of your decision. So in being very realistic in terms of landscape and uh, uh, weather conditions and lightning effects. If you're fighting in the nighttime, you have poor lighting, you don't know where the Germans are, and you have to think, plan, and execute. If you fail, okay, you can restart again, but it's not arcade -ish. One of the most interesting things about this game is the complete destructibility of any objects in the world of the game. If you have a village where you fight the Germans, and you fight in such a way that you destroy half the buildings, then you bear the consequences in the following missions. Because if you try to hide your snipers there in the, let's say, five missions later, or, I don't know, two missions later, the houses are gone. All the destructions are realistic. If you blow up a tank, you're going to see this blown up tank in the very exact spot in the next mission and in the next mission and in the next mission. So we put a pretty heavy price on any action that the player takes. It could be difficult, it could be challenging for the newbies, for people who come from World of Warcraft and they want a quick tank action, but this is not the game for teenagers, it's a game for connoisseurs of the board game genre, and we want to give them a tool that allows them to enjoy the genre they love in a very unique way. We model the reality that the team that developed the game before did the simulation, uh, tank simulation software for Ukrainian Army. So these are the people who do things very correctly, accurately, and specifically to how it works in the real life. So for those who understand the war game genre, this is a perfect tool. You can play, you can rely on the mechanics, you can rely on the ballistics, on the type of weapons we use, on the type of models and the tanks that we present and so on. You can trust the developer that they've recreated the real thing. In the game you have six campaigns, three for Russians, three for Germans, that you play on the historically accurate maps with the historically accurate position of historically accurate forces in the historically accurate landscape and historically accurate weather conditions. So we brought together a short piece of real history of World War II, which you can experience for each of the sides, and then you can understand the tactical situations during that battle and understand why this is one of the most challenging tank battles in the history of World War II. Uh, the total size of the area reconstructed in the game is up 36 square kilometers and the biggest map is 16 square kilometers. And you have one-to-one -one scale of all the techniques and all the buildings and all the soldiers and so on. People who developed this game are former active army officers who fought in real wars. They fought in Afghanistan and a number of other operations. So for them, the goal to develop this game included recreating the real decision-making environment where whatever decision you make, you cannot unmake. You do not have a quick undo that allows you to go and improve your result immediately. The previous experience of the team is with the tank simulation software. So they wanted to bring the accurate mechanics, the accurate ballistics, the accurate armor protection, the accurate destruction models into the field of games. It's for people who understand and appreciate the war game genre. And to those people, they say, welcome.